In this video, we're going to unbox and review the Joby Gorillapod Focus and Bullhead X. Hey guys, Adam Ivey. I've been creating videos since around 2009, and in that time I've acquired several like cheap tripods, uh, and I've also spent money on some kind of heavy duty tripods, like two or 300 bucks a piece. Uh, but there's always been this gray area where I'll be out and about, and I wish I had um, something to be able to mount my camera to, but a cheap tripod could just blow over in the wind, and the heavy duty tripods are a pain in the butt to tote around. They come in essentially a duffel bag, and they can range up to around, around 30 30 pounds a piece. Anyway, recently I've been doing some research and a couple of my friends recommended this, which is the Joby Gorillapod. Now I opted to spend a few more dollars and I got the Focus Plus Ballhead X, as you can see here. There's the ball head. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick unboxing and a review of this because I feel like this is going to come in handy for a lot of you. So before I unbox it, I'll give you a quick overview of what it actually is. The Joby Gorillapods are kind of top of the line uh, when it comes to flexible, portable tripods. Now I say flexible and portable because you can essentially mount these to just about anything from uh, a tree branch to a light post, um, a chair, uh, a child. <laughs> you, could, you could probably mount it to a dog if, uh, if you really want to roll the dice. But um, this is going to be perfect for me when I'm toting it around through the airport, have it strapped to my camera bag. Uh, I'll cut to that right now so you can see what I'm talking about. It has a couple Velcro straps on the side. You could pick these things up uh, between $20 and $200 or $300. It all depends on what you're looking for, brand, and whatnot. That's a different video, though. When it comes to the Joby brand itself, uh, I'm not too proud of this, but I have actually gone on eBay and bought a couple um, cheaper versions in the past, thinking, oh, you know, it's all the same. Uh, the, you're paying for the brand name. And I can honestly say, and this isn't a sponsored video or anything, um, I'm not getting paid. I had to pay for this. This isn't any type of, uh, I don't get any kickback for this. What I'm getting at is I've spent, um, let's say, a quarter of what this costs on an eBay version that I literally had to return. I got to return one and the other one, they actually never got back to me. So I literally had to throw it away because it wouldn't hold any weight. It could barely hold my smartphone. I was extremely disappointed and it was made of cheap materials. I'm talking about plastic and that's it. It was just plastic. Now at first glance, you might think that this is plastic, but I'll show you in a minute that this is far from uh, cheap. This thing, like I said, uh, in my opinion, is top of the line for what it is. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, so instead of doing all sorts of crazy camera angles, since this is a pretty straightforward product, I'm just gonna open it here on camera and kind of let you see what I see as I open it. So I've already cut this. There's a little bit of uh, tape that keeps this shut. Um, obviously I cut it so I could open it on camera. This is the first time I'm opening it though. So anyway, you can see that's the back pop it open. No biggie. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time doing this. I don't want to bore you to death. So on the top, you're going to see some literature. All right. I'm not going to read this right now. Anyway, there's some cardboard. I'm going to pull the cardboard out. And that's it. Boom. That right there is the Joby Gorillapod Focus plus Ballhead X. Is that what it's called? Yeah, right there. All right, so that was obviously a very quick unboxing. Um, I wanna get right into the review of this thing. This is extremely heavy duty and incredibly versatile. Uh, if you want more information about it, I'm going to do a full blog article like I usually do at adamivy.com. Links in the description box below and I've actually hunted these down as I do to find the best price, which is still coincidentally the price that I paid for it. Uh, and I'm gonna put the link in the description where you could find that as well. And by clicking that link, it'll save you about 10 bucks based off of what I've seen retailers trying to sell it for. Uh, I wouldn't buy this off of eBay unless you're absolutely confident with the seller. Um, I've seen a lot of people try to buy these off of eBay and what the seller will actually send them is like a generic, no name, very comparable, but it's not the same. And that's kind of what I ran into before with the plastic ones. So this thing is heavy duty, like I said. Um, these are actually aluminum socket joints. As you can see, 
Uh, they're coated with a nice rubber ring for grip, and that's going to give you the ability to grip it onto, like I said, tree branches, chairs, bicycles, uh, you know, you name it, this thing most likely will stick to it. Also, the rubber feet uh, give you the ability to kind of prop it up on a car, not moving. Uh, although you could wrap this thing around a rear view mirror, I suppose, or a grill, a brush guard, uh, something like that. And I would actually, uh, I would actually, ugh. I would actually trust this thing. So as you can see, these ball joints are very stiff yet easily uh, manipulatable. That's not even a real word, is it? If that's a word, uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, you can manipulate the legs. That's really what I'm trying to get at in any way, shape, or form that you really wish. Uh, and this is a really high quality ball head, just so you know. Besides being able to adjust the actual ball head itself, it gives you the ability to swivel. It shows you the degrees for which you're swiveling. I don't know if that would really come in handy for most of us, but it's nice to have, you know, I'd rather have a couple more options than I need on something like this. Now, one thing that might look a little ridiculous, but is actually really, really handy, is the fact that you could turn this into a makeshift shoulder rig, right? So you just, kind of scorpion tail it up like this. You could put your camera right on here and you could hold it like that. And it's gonna give you a lot of stability, take a lot of shake out of your, uh, your handheld shots. And you can honestly, even just by holding this, and I'm, I'm a relatively strong guy, and this is uh, you know, pretty, pretty stiff. So when it comes to adjusting this around um, whatever you're mounting it to, you can have absolute confidence. Sorry if this review is like kind of all over the place. I'm an all over the place kind of person. I just want to kind of show the quality of this because I really believe in it. Um, a lot of my friends were recommending this thing to me before I ordered it. And I actually thought about it for probably for a good month or two before I ordered it, but I am super happy I did. Now I'm going to do some shots with this thing mounted to a whole lot of different things so you can get an idea of the, the strength and the versatility of this thing. Uh, so let's cut to that. This is another Adam Ivy certified banger. All right, so I just showed you a ton of different ways that you can use the Joby Gorilla Pod in ways that a regular tripod just wouldn't cut it. But one thing I haven't showed you is how to actually install a camera on it. I know that it's kind of probably common sense to a lot of people, but as a review and as an unboxing and kind of a hands-on thing, I want to show you how simple it is to mount your DSLR camera to the Joby Gorilla Pod with ball head. Now you can buy models that don't come with a ball head and pretty much you just screw your camera right to it, or you can add your own ball head, which a ball head, a decent ball head, um, will probably cost you between 15 all the way up. I mean, I've seen very, very, very expensive ball heads. So uh, 15, 20 bucks, you can get a decent entry level ball head if you go with a, a Joby Gorilla Pod that doesn't come with one. Anyway, let's show you how easy it is to mount a DSLR camera to the Joby Gorilla Pod. Now, I have a, a Panasonic GH4 that I'll be using for this demonstration. I'm filming right now on my Canon 70D, which this thing holds it like it's no problem. It holds it like it's, uh, you know, a cell phone or something, it, it, it incredibly strong. So what this is right here is the mounting screw, I guess you would call it. Uh, you just unloosen this, or loosen this, and then this pops right out. That's the mounting plate, right? You get that in focus? You get the picture. On the bottom of the mounting plate is a little handle so you could screw. On the bottom of a DSLR, or most camcorders, a GoPro, uh, even some um, cell phone mounts, is a quarter inch screw. Take this and take that. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, that might be copywritten. I shouldn't use that. Anyway, mount it like this, pop it down. In the same way, you slide it into this groove, down, and then tighten. And that, my friends, is how easy Look at this is a full weighted DSLR. It doesn't have a huge lens on it, but if this was weak, it would do a lot more than that. The whole thing would bend, right? And I didn't have a Titan. That's my, uh, my bad. Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of funny. I'm just going to leave that in. I'm not even going to reshoot. This thing is incredibly strong. Like you can't, you have to bend them individually in order to do a curvature like that. You get what I'm saying. Like I said, 
link in the description box below, not only to find a great price, but to go to my blog at adamivy.com, get more information uh, on the Joby Gorilla Pod. There's a lot of different options. There's a lot of different models of this. Uh, so no matter how into video or photography you are, there's a model that'll fit your budget and fit your needs. I am extremely happy about this. As you could tell, I'm going on and on and on about it. What else? One more thing I'm gonna show you before I end this video. Let's just take 20 seconds to show you the strength of this. I found some weights in my garage. Well, I had them, I didn't. It's not like I found them. I'm like, oh my God, I found gold. Uh, I have some old weights and let's see how much this thing can handle. And as always, guys, I would love to connect with you. So come find me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, at Adam Ivy. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Adam Ivy TV. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comments below. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's like 15 seconds worth of work. Uh, and until next time, you can find me at AdamIvy.com.